Question. All right, Mark, your turn. <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Yeah. Certainly. What about, um, I know I, I, a lot of us have concerns about uh, people being able to buy their way to the ballot, uh, like with some of the proposals that we saw on the ballot where people just went out and hired a bunch of canvassers. And, um, I, for one, have some interest in kind of reining that process in. Do you know if there's any discussion much going on regarding kind of, you, you know what I'm talking about, kind of pull that back some? I've actually heard some discussion about that as far as, uh, uh, I think it was a threshold on the number of votes it might take as far as uh, uh, approving yeah. the measure. But well, I don't know yeah. if there's been anything regarding the necessarily the, the Bankrolling, yeah. Some of these. But uh, you know, like in Florida, you got to get at least sixty percent of the vote on a preferred measure like that, or it doesn't. That's the discussion that I've heard at this time. Maybe yeah. a maybe a two thirds yeah. threshold or something yeah. up along that yeah. that line. Okay. Especially if you're going to be amending the constitution. I mean, it, yeah. it seems like it should be a higher threshold than just a, a simple majority. Yeah. I was kind of interested in uh, the change in the constitutional amendments uh, put out by the legislature. I know y'all changed it to each ha each uh, 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 part where the Senate and the House would be able to put forth an amendment. And then I didn't understand how the third one was going to be promulgated. Now, I think in the past that it's alternated between the Senate and the House two and one. Is that, isn't that right? There, this is going to be one and one, and then they, I think it takes a super majority to refer a third. Okay. But the one cha the one change that, that I know the Senate put in their rules is that there's not going to be a joint committee <coughs> exactly. on constitutional amendments. It will go through state agencies and then go through the regular right. individual right. House and Senate committees. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, what about the tax uh, uh, reduction for uh, uh, military retirees? I believe that that's probably going to get filed. And I think it probably, if I, if I had to guess, I suspect that if it gets filed, it would have a good chance of being passed. I don't know too many people that are going to vote against veterans. But uh, I know that the tax reform is going to be also a big issue. And, uh, I, I've heard people say that they think that uh, that was passed. They don't necessarily think it's good policy. They think it would probably be better if we, we did a tax reform for all citizens, not just individual groups. Now, it, it, sorry. One question. Sorry. One last one. <laughs> or, else, or else we're going to leave I'll here. I'll take it. We're going to leave here at one. I can stay out there. Okay, our next speaker is the, as I always introduce him, the ever suave Chairman Webb of the Republican Party of Arkansas. <laughs> and, uh, suave, 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 suave